Kate City, one of the two 4A teams, has turned into a real contender for the district title. For more on Pocatello and Century, we go to Julia Cox live in our Pocatello newsroom. Julia. Yeah, Jeff, the Pocatello Indians have jumped out to a 4-1 and record in league play. Meanwhile, the Century Diamondbacks have been struggling. They're just 2-15 and overall, a far cry from their state tournament appearance last season. And Century High School honoring the six-time state champion volleyball team with their championship rings tonight. To Hoops, first quarter, the Indians are up by eight. Jaden Brown does the no-look pass to Kobe Gardia, who hits the tray ball. It's 13-2 pokey. Later on, same score. And Tucker Hugh gets the ball. He does a nice move down low for the basket. It's 13-4 Indians lead. Pocatello would answer back immediately. Check out the crossover step back three from Kobe, making it 16-4 Indians. And then later, Check out the pump fake spin move from Gardia to get the separation. The kid was on fire tonight. He racked up 13 points, 11 of those in the first quarter. Later in the first, D-backs are down 14. The first shot is no good, but Rhett Fackrell crashes the boards and gets the put back for two. Pocatello would lead at the half 40-15 to 15, as you see Brown hitting the tray ball there. He also had an impressive night with 20 points, and the Indians would go on to win 63-39. to 39. Let's go to the 